Hello there YouTubers, welcome to another video and welcome to day 4 of my nano reef tank which is uh, 8 gallons as you can see now I've got some live rock in here and it was cheap live rock I got it for 15 quid at Erdington Aquatics brilliant store, brilliant fish in there a variety of salt water and that's where I got most of my stuff from so I've got all of this in here now and what you can see I've got some uh, purple coralline algae in there growing on it the tank, the rock started to go white when I was growing with some of this I think it's diatoms on there and I'm not too sure but uh, yeah I've got four pieces, this is my largest one I've added look, two little mini caps I'm going to buy some more this week when I get some crabs and stuff some uh, hermit crabs and things because I'm going to leave it till day nine of the cycle before I start adding any animals into the tank however what comes with, with the live rock is uh, these little things here I've got about five two on this rock one on this rock here and two of them on that rock anybody knows what they are then please do tell me because I'm not too sure well this one's grown since I've had it since Friday so this one's been growing and growing it's got bigger and bigger each day so oh yeah everything's doing well in here I've done another test today with all the water and stuff and everything's still perfectly fine I'm going to do my last test on Thursday and I should be alright to get some fish not fish sorry some Hermit crab snails and probably shrimp. I'm looking for a fire shrimp in here with about five hermit crabs and three turbo snails <coughs> or a coral bandit shrimp, which is a good selection. Uh, so that's that. But I am instead of being a, re a just a total fish tank and critters, I'm going to turn it into a reef. Now I've ordered a new light, a uh, new LED light system, LED light system, sorry. And it comes with six LEDs and two, you know, three normal lights. So there's two, can be two switches on there to turn them on. And I'll do an update of that when I've got it and how it's setting it up and everything comes to the tank. So yeah, so it's going to be a coal tank. So I hope you'll be able to get some small corals in there, such as mushrooms, zoo amphids, uh, some frog spawn and stuff like that. I'd love to get an anemone, but it's not big enough. But if I could, that would probably be one of the only corals I actually get, because I know they can get pretty big. <coughs> now I've been looking at fish for this tank already, because I'm just trying to get priced up and how much I need to save up and everything for the animals and everything that I want in the tank. I found a good place where I can get two black maroon clownfish and a firefish which is what I'm hoping to try to get and the black maroon clownfish look will look brilliant for this tank and so will a small firefish and then that will be my fish for this tank uh, if I do need to upgrade the tank then I've already got a tank which I can upgrade it to I just move everything over and set up this again just like a fish tank which is now at the moment so yeah that's mostly everything uh, cleaned out the skimmer the other day completely full fill up thanks to the live rock uh, everything started to grow now bubbles are all going it's just a bit of bubbles on there and that's about it uh, like how would you starting to go on the pump so when I get the snails that will be able to clear off clean it uh, like I said if anyone knows what these are then please do tell me I'd love to know what they are but it's, uh, it's doing well the cycle's doing good I calculated when I can get some fish into the tank which will be March 15th so about three weeks away from now Yep, so that's everything done. That's everything so far. I'll update you when I get my lighting system and some new animals for the tank. Please comment, subscribe to my channel, and tell me if I'm doing anything wrong with the tank or 
what I should do for the future of this tank. Uh, thank you, happy fish keeping. Bye.